Okay. I'm going to go over the controls for this patch. Um, if you're familiar with the controls for the patch that it's inspired or by the pedal that it's inspired by, um, you know, you, some of this I, I won't have to go over all that uh, carefully. <laughs> so WOW is a random pitch modulation. Um, let me turn some things off. As you turn it up, it becomes more pronounced and deeper and faster. I turn down the dry volume some while I go through things. There's a wet level control. At its farthest end, it's pretty wobbly. Um, as you reel it back, it becomes much more subtle. Um, but still, there's there's a lot of ran randomness built into the modulation, so it can be a little unpredictable. Okay, that's wow. We also have flutter. Uh, it adds sort of a, a distortion. It's a, a quickly modulated uh, vibrato, essentially. Um, but it, it modulates so quickly that it creates uh, distortion in the pitch. Unlike the Inspiration, when this one's pushed really far, um, it doesn't have quite the same metallic quality. But it can still definitely add to that sort of, you know, old VHS cassette sound. Um, there's a wet level. It's not terribly interesting. I mean, it is, and you can modulate it, which I'll come to in just a second. Uh, generation is a aliaser, so it, it reduces the sample rate. As I turn this down, it will sound more metallic and beat up and, and that sort of thing. Turn the wet level up some more. And you have a high pass filter. This one's turned up really high, which was part of why it's so quiet. That's probably too high. So the wet level and the filters are sort of in a constant conversation with one another. And as you adjust one, you, you probably want to adjust the others. Um, the filters are both slightly resonant, which you probably heard when they, when they were modulated. And that's now really loud. Anyhow. Um, the, there's a, a dry level which you can adjust uh, at about 0.5 is where it's at some uh, dry. When it's all the way up to one, it's at unity gain. Um, the, the level, the wet level can be boosted up to nine decibels uh, above what should be unity, but it depends on different settings between the generation control, the filters, a lot of things can contribute both to gains and losses in volume. So again, the, the wet level and all of those controls are kind of in a constant uh, dance with one another. Um, 
down here I'm going to touch on this real quickly is a control called bounce or ramp when bounce is enabled then the controls over here control the the modulation speed so I'm going to pick a So here I have the low pass filter being modulated upward. Um, you can also choose uh, a shape. So when it's unlit, it's in triangle, and when it's lit, it's in uh, square wave. I'm going to increase the rate. <laughs> square wave. When this is lit up, uh, instead of using the bounce parameters, this, ha this control has to be set on triangle uh, or unlit, the, the unlit mod position. But when you press this stomp switch, uh, the controls will ramp to their, to their depth positions, um, which it's a bipolar depth position, so they can ramp upward or downward um, as long as the, the modulation is selected. So we can have... Uh, generation mod downward. Or, you know, just any combination of whatever. then when it's not it goes back to to modulating again it has to be in the the triangle position the, the unlit position to use this stomp switch um the other two stomp switches this one is dedicated to turning the filters on and off and this one can select between uh, maxing out the, the generation control or the wow and flutter. If it's unlit, it maxes the, the generation control. And if it's lit, And then finally, there's a, a noise control. So green is clean, yellow is kind of dirty, and white is a lot of white noise coming through the circuit. Uh, and depending on where the different filters are set, that will sound, you know, uh, greater or larger it'll have different characters and that's the patch uh, chase bliss allows you to do some things that that this isn't automatically set up to do but for instance if you wanted these stomp switches to be uh, momentary rather than latching well that's only an option menu away you know um, if you wanted them to be momentary and normally on you can make those changes right from the the front page um, so yeah you know uh, there are some ways where it may not sound like the pedal that inspired it, but I think it definitely sits in the same ballpark and, and operates in some of the same capacities. Um, so check it out. Uh, thank you.